Radio Algeria International presents International Policy Code, a weekly program hosted by Les Fermazari. Algerian oil exports fell by approximately 43% in the first quarter of 2015 when compared to the previous year. The shortfall has largely been attributed to falling global oil prices. Energy sales account for over half of Algeria's governmental budget. Algeria still has more than $150 billion in foreign reserves and little foreign debt, but it relies heavily on its oil and gas revenues. The government had already announced a cut of 1.3% cut in this year's budget after it said the fall in world crude oil prices would slash its energy earnings by 50%. Our guest in our program is Alexander Kateb, Chief Economist of Tel Group. Alexander, welcome to our program. Thank you for receiving me. Well, first of all, can we talk of an economic crisis in Algeria? Uh, yes, indeed, we can talk of uh, an economic crisis. Uh, the roots of the crisis uh, are global. Mm -hmm. uh, it is linked with the, the, the fall uh, uh, of oil prices, uh, the, the very uh, sharp fall uh, that uh, happened in the second half of 2014. Uh, and um, the consequences are rather straightforward for the Algerian economy, uh, which depends uh, in different ways, directly and indirectly, from uh, um, its uh, oil and gas uh, revenues. So the, the, the crisis is here, it is going to last, uh, and there is a need to, to, to adapt and to make the, the structural reforms uh, uh, to mitigate the impact of this crisis, and, uh, to put the Algerian economy uh, on a sustainable uh, uh, growth path. Alexander, can we say that Algeria's crisis started in the United States in the second half of 2007? Uh, the global crisis started in 2007, 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, its impact was uh, first, uh, um, I mean, uh, limited to the uh, development financial uh, centers and uh, the development economies. Mm -hmm. But uh, but then uh, with the uh, uh, a few years down the road, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the impact on on, uh, on China, especially uh, the slowdown in Chinese uh, growth, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, translated into uh, a, a, a massive uh, fall uh, in commodities prices, and uh, and this led uh, in turn to uh, uh, the crisis that we know in uh, in Algeria, but not only in Algeria or in all uh, uh, other emerging uh, economies. Uh, such as uh, Russia, uh, Brazil, and, uh, and so on. You have recently suggested a series of proposals to the National Economic and Social Council, CNES. Can you elaborate? Uh, well, yes, I mean, my uh, proposals uh, were twofold. Uh, first, uh, uh, I, I uh, suggested some uh, uh, short-term uh, reforms, uh, quick wins to stabilize the macroeconomic uh, and financial situation, mm -hmm. uh, mostly uh, through uh, the rationalization of uh, public uh, spending, but in its uh, uh, operating uh, expenses and uh, and its equipment uh, budget. So that there are things to do, uh, which which are. Uh, are widely known uh, to the economists and the experts, such as ra rationalizing the, the subsidies, uh, mm -hmm. but also transferring the financing uh, of uh, equipment uh, projects and infrastructure uh, to uh, other uh, non-budgetary uh, uh, resources. And, and uh, in this case, my proposal was to uh, transform the current uh, uh, oil regulation uh, fund uh, into an infrastructure investment fund uh, mm. uh, that would uh, be able to uh, uh, attract uh, uh, both uh, local and international financing and uh, and uh, to monitor much in a much better way uh, the um, uh, investment in, in these uh, uh, infrastructure projects. So uh, these are for the urgent reforms. And how about the long-term reforms? In the long term, uh, the, the real uh, priority is uh, to diversify the Algerian economy and uh, 
to uh, to provide uh, both advice and uh, financing uh, to um, the Algerian uh, businesses uh, uh, that are engaged in this diversification uh, in all uh, the, the services and the industrial sectors. And um, we as Tel Group are committed to participate to this diversification drive, but there need to be uh, a very strong uh, political will uh, uh, sustained over uh, uh, 10 or 15 years to, to, to drive this uh, diversification process. Well, in response to the crisis, Algeria's government said it will cut spending by 9% next year and uh, due to the drastic fall in global oil prices uh, and announced a series of measures to diversify uh, its economy. How do you assess them? I think these measures are welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, they probably don't go uh, as far as, uh, as needed because uh, uh, the, the crisis is really uh, going to last and there need to be uh, very important uh, measures. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's... Uh, Uh, there is a need uh, to put uh, all these reforms uh, in perspective uh, into, uh, uh, to design some kind of uh, middle to long term strategy that could articulate between the, the short term measures and uh, the, the medium to long term measures and to provide uh, a map, uh, something that would be called Algeria to 2030 uh, uh, or the like. Uh, Uh, in order to uh, to give some uh, um, some visibility to the, the, the to investors to foreign investors to corporates uh, in Algeria as well to to all the uh, the economic players that need to be reassured that this uh, mm -hmm. diversification strategy uh, uh, has been uh, enacted and uh, that it will translate into into real uh, uh, um, real actions on the ground. Could we enter recession? I think there is a real uh, risk of recession uh, because uh, uh, public spending uh, will have to be uh, constrained uh, even further and reduced. Uh, so uh, basically the Algerian economy has, that has been relying uh, uh, on public spending uh, and state, state support for uh, a decade uh, uh, or more during the, the boom years, uh, now this, uh, this level, uh, level is going to be withdrawn. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the private uh, sector uh, is still not uh, completely ready to to uh, to take uh, to take the lead. So um, mm -hmm. there is really a need to uh, to accelerate this transition from the the, the public sector to the, the private sector-led growth mm -hmm. to mitigate the, the impact of the recession. But there will be a recession. The, the, the question is not uh, if there will mm -hmm. be a recession, but uh, if we can. Uh, if we can work for the future and, and, and look beyond this, uh, this recession uh, that follows uh, a decade uh, uh, of uh, booming uh, economy supported by, uh, especially, by uh, uh, oil prices. Especially with the depreciation of the Algerian uh, currency, the Algerian dinar, against the yes, US dollar. This is, uh, this is, uh, but, uh, this is uh, actually a consequence of the Of the, the oil price uh, fall so. and of the crisis, but uh, mm -hmm. but uh, this will, would be then beneficial in the, in the medium term because uh, this will uh, restrain imports and uh, they, this will uh, provide uh, some some boost to to local businesses uh, uh, that sell uh, Algerian products. Uh, Like, for example, uh, the products sold by uh, Condor or other companies uh, that would be preferred to uh, imported ones. So, so actually, I think the depreciation of the dinar is a, is a, is a good thing, mm -hmm. although it has also some negative side effects like uh, inflation, uh, etc. And what could be the impact of a long-term oil prices plunging on OPEC countries, not only uh, Algeria? The, The impact uh, will depend on the ability of the government to uh, to address this, uh, this uh, crisis and this situation and to design the, the, the right uh, economic strategy. Some countries will uh, will succeed, mm -hmm. uh, some countries will fail, uh, and I hope that uh, Algeria will be uh, in the group of countries that succeed uh, uh, in this uh, transition and in this. Uh, Uh, diversification away uh, away from the, the the rent economy and the oil and gas uh, driven economy. 
Well, Alexander Kateb, Chief Economist of Tel Group, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much.